hey welcome back to our new video in this video i am going to tell you about uh, how to search for the program that suits you uh, that belongs to your uh, background and then list out the program and what to uh, think in mind uh, when we are searching for the uh, uh, program so this is our second video on erasmus mondas series so uh, head over to this uh, website i'll put this link into the description as well or you can uh, search the erasmus mondas catalog as well uh, actually this uh, this uh, this uh, this is the website and uh, i will uh, share this link into the uh, uh, description as well so here uh, if you come here uh, erasmus mondas catalog there are currently 191 programs uh, which you can uh, search for so uh, here we can search either by some keywords like computer engineering or forestry or agriculture or anything or any country that uh, uh, will uh, will be uh, 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 that will be uh, taken to the to your study or duration and credit any any other things uh, but i would uh, i think a uh, field of study would be a good choice so here you can uh, select the agro or uh, or any other things for is uh, is i belong to the computer engineering and computer science uh, it sector so i'll uh, make a search for the information technology and then i selected it make a search uh, we can see here that uh, uh, here uh, it has uh, 18 programs it has shown that so we can see uh, uh, in here uh, you have uh, two two links for every source you can see two links if i click on this link and if i click on this link th these are the two different uh, uh, pages so first one is the is the uh, european union's uh, page for this erasmus uh, program details we can see here project status is ongoing and its start date and end date is this and then a uh, grant amount you can see here and other other uh, countries involved you can uh, read the summary of the program and other things as well and main important thing to notice is that start in end date uh, because some programs may have started in back in 2021 or 20 and then they may have uh, in date is 2025 or 26 27 so if uh, if uh, some program has an in date of uh, 2025 then they may not take new enrollments for the 2025 as you are uh, as i am recording this video on uh, september 2024 uh, whenever uh, applications uh, will be opened uh, for is the is from september uh, some programs may open their applications on october uh, and um, especially uh, most of the programs open their applications in december to january uh, or uh, early february so you have to uh, you are uh, you are, you will be applying for the uh, 2025 intake so be careful that uh, if the end date is 2025 then that program may not uh, uh, accept or uh, may not uh, take new enrollments uh, this thing you have to uh, be careful on that in another link is the is the program itself you see uh, i have uh, uh, clicked on the uh, communication engineering and data science so if i uh, come here this is the website of a particular program and uh, almost all of the programs have similar kind of the interface where they have mentioning about the program structure curriculum summer school uh, other things uh, uh, there will be surely for the, some how to apply uh, section and there will be uh, uh, defining some scholarship uh, section in other uh, partners and uh, involved universities so you have to go through everything uh, for this uh, okay so so this is the way you can search for uh, any program this is the um, information that you can uh, see from here for example if i uh, go below and see this it has uh, started in 2022 and uh, will be continued until the 2021 so it has already started the uh, new uh, new uh, uh, application for uh, 2025 intake from 1st september if you click on it it will have information on how to apply for it so it has already uh, started its um, application process yeah okay 
so other things uh, you can also make a search on engineering and uh, uh, sometimes um, even if it is showing here 67 some programs which already uh, we saw uh, selecting the IT information technology may also be shown here for example this communication engineering and data science this is already shown uh, as well uh, it will be uh, under this program as well so this way you can uh, search for the all the programs that uh, relates to you for example if you don't have any idea on uh, which field uh, you can uh, type here computer engineering then uh, it will uh, show you all the programs that you can apply for uh, by by being computer engineer or you can also uh, see uh, so, so, uh, search make a search and then see different programs requirements so that whether you are uh, eligible to apply for not uh, I hope this helps help you on uh, searching a different programs on the catalog of Erasmus Mondes uh, website. Uh, I will be creating a such a video series on the how to apply for Erasmus Mondes. Every steps I'll be making a, a separate videos on that uh, so that you will have a, a thorough guide on it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you. Please uh, do like, subscribe and share uh, to your friends so that you both can come to the Erasmus Mondes scholarship.